Hello everyone, this is another short video on plagiarism and the correct way of citing your sources in order to avoid plagiarism. So there are three main types of plagiarism. The first type of plagiarism is global plagiarism. This is where you have taken somebody else's speech and you have just hit control all, so you've highlighted the whole speech copy and paste into your speech and try to pass it off as your own. Don't do that. Um, the second type of plagiarism is patchwork plagiarism. So for patchwork plagiarism, think of a patchwork quilt um, or one of those t-shirt quilts where you take a bunch of your t-shirts and you put them together and you make a quilt. So patchwork plagiarism works kind of the same way. So if global plagiarism is one other one source that you've copied, Patchwork plagiarism is where you've taken two or more sources and kind of copied this and copied that and pasted it into your speech, maybe put in a couple words of your own, but for the most part, it's somebody else's work. Plagiarism, of course, is taking someone else's work and passing it off as your own and taking the credit for it. The last type of plagiarism is the one that most students fall into accidentally. Um, this is inter incremental plagiarism. So incremental plagiarism is giving a quote and failing to cite your source properly or paraphrasing and failing to cite your source properly. So quotations are obviously direct word for word what the other person have said and paraphrasing is where you've taken what they've said, kind of jumbled it up into your own words so it makes a little more sense to you but it's still not your original thought. It's somebody else's thought. Maybe it's your words, but it's somebody else's idea. So that's why it's considered plagiarism and you still have to cite your sources. Speaking of citing your sources, in order to orally cite your sources correctly, you need to identify the four following things. You need to identify the book, magazine, journal, or web source that you got your information from. Um, the author or the sponsoring organization. So a sponsoring organization would be um, Mayo Clinic. Um, that's if you're going to use a medical, um, if you're going to do a medical speech, Mayo Clinic is, would be your best choice of sources to use. The third thing you need to mention is the author's qualifications with regards to the topic that they're writing about. So again, you don't want to have a source where a mechanic is talking about massage therapy because unless that mechanic is certified in massage therapy, I don't want him tuning me up. I don't mind him tuning my car up, just not me. So he has no business writing about massage therapy. And the fourth thing, fourth thing you have to um, cite while giving an oral citation is the date in which the source was published, posted, uploaded, or updated. If the source has been updated, use the updated date. Do not use the original post date because the original post date is not the most current version. Uh, so that's what plagiarism is and how to avoid plagiarism. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Um, I'd be more than happy to help. Thank you.